Hi guys, we're on VRAM24.com and today we'll disassemble the smartphone Tecno Camo 19. At the very beginning we need to remove the card tray. For this we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the combined card tray. After that we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of about 65-70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 or 7 minutes we can move on to the assembly. To remove the back cover we will use a plastic film. It is a protective film from a new display or a film from the stationary store. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover you run it along the length of the back cover to detach it. And we have a back cover that is separated from the cover of the cameras, so the back cover is taped around the cover of the cameras. We don't have to worry about the lenses, but the adhesive is tight in this area. The cover continues to be held on by the tape, so we need to carefully peel off the tape. And we open the bike cover. We have the flashlight elements and the gasket on the cover. Ok, make sure there is nothing under the protective covering and we move on to unscrewing the screws at the top. We use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or hash 3 to remove the screws. This will allow us to detach the cover and get to the battery connector, which we will need to disconnect. Please note that the screws are black, like the cover, and are quite easy to miss. And with a non-metal tool, we have to detach the cover hiding the motherboard. The cover, by the way, also protects the cameras. And then we use a non-metal tool to hook the edge of the connector and disconnect the battery connector. And we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. The screwdriver is the same 1.5mm Phillips. One of the screws is obviously different, so we recommend placing them on a special surface in an easy to remember order for assembly. And we can detach the cover with a speaker. We find a right and convenient place where we can hook the cover and lift it gently by rocking it because it is slightly glued on the edge. On the cover we also have a small board for the antennas. Then we can disconnect the interboard cable connector and the two connectors of the coaxial cables. And we release the second cable from the clips on the subboard. Ok, we need to unscrew one screw holding the subboard. The screwdriver is the same, 1.5mm Phillips. This screw is obviously different from the previous ones. And we can detach the subboard by gently hooking the edge in the right place and pulling it out. The subboard is slightly recessed into the display frame. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone, headset port and other elements on the back side. And the vibration motor remains in the display frame. After that we disconnect the connector of the interboard cable and the connector to the display. Then we can disconnect the connectors of two coaxial cables and release the cables themselves from the clips on the motherboard. 
and we can detach the rear cameras. We carefully hold the body so that the camera doesn't fly out. At the same moment, it is important not to touch the lenses, disconnect the connector and take out the camera. By the way, the small camera is slightly taped. We disconnect the connector, most likely on the fingerprint sensor. And unscrew one screw securing the motherboard. The screwdriver is the same 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or hash trio. Now we need to peel off the first protective covering of the front camera. But the camera is connected to the motherboard from the inside, so we will detach it later. And we peel off the protective covering. So, we can detach the motherboard. We find the right and convenient place to hook the motherboard. And take out the motherboard and turn it over. Then we disconnect the front camera connector and peel off the copper he dissipating coating. Ok, we disconnect the last rear camera connector and we need to pass the rear camera connector through the hole in the motherboard to remove the camera. Carefully pass the connector through so as not to damage the cable. By the way, the camera is slightly glued to the motherboard. Ok, this is the end of our disassembly, thank you for watching and see you around, or in the new video. Well, I just want to be happy. How to get there? Hmm, glad that you asked me. I think it's different for everyone. Some of us need work, others need fun. Some of us need purpose to overcome. But try to do what you love when it's said and done. Because there's so many differences in each of us. Trust your gut, it can show you what you want. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah, all I need are some better days. Because all I want. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, or read our articles on our website, take care of yourself, and until the next video.